Hello, I'm just doing a small video, a small introduction that a lot of students have asked me for, which is just to go into the breathing, especially when I get a new student, they want to go into that a bit more or people that are wanting to work with me with NLP or hypnosis. Breathing is just so key to everything, to the way we feel, the way we think, the brain chemistry adjusts, um, the stress reduces, clarity increases, the body heals itself with, with amazing deep breathing. So in Kundalini Yoga in particular, I'm, we do the three-stage breath. We have a lot of breath signatures, but the particular one I'm just going to teach you now, and we'll just go into it together, is inhaling, belly expanding, rib cage widening, breathing up into the collarbones, suspend your breath, and exhale, collarbones, chest, belly back towards the spine, keeping the breath out softly without tensing. And then again, all through the nose, inhale, belly slowly, expanding the rib cage, breathing up into the collarbones, suspend your breath. And exhaling from your collarbones down the chest, slowly bring the belly back towards the spine. Pause briefly, then inhaling again, belly expanding slowly, ribcage widening, breathing up into the collarbones, suspend your breath. And slowly exhale, continue while I'm still here on this YouTube. Let your shoulders relax more now, keep breathing. Check that your jaw is relaxed, keep breathing. Your tongue can be pressed to the roof of your mouth. That keeps your jaw relaxed and is activating the palate. And your inner gaze at the brow point, the point between your eyebrows. This already will activate your intuitive centers and work the pituitary and pineal. And these are also affecting your consciousness and your hormonal balance. So it's got massive effects. So. Keep breathing this way and remember the belly moves out on the inhale, yes, and contracts back on the exhale. And just no matter what's going on around us, just then the neighbors will play funny music, my kids are coming and going. But just being able to even practice this when there's lots going on, noises, sounds, you can tell yourself that the sounds will only help me to go deeper. And if you have to look up for something, look up and come back to the breathing. And just keep feeling that fluidity and that flow because as we breathe we live and it makes a huge impact on how you literally are in life not just how you respond versus react but also how you are present and which means that you will actually get more out of your every minute every hour because you are able to to really feel the depth to hear the sounds, to see the sights, to have those sensations. Time feels like it literally slows down. It's a very beautiful moment. And the neighbors are back. I think they're going to have a party because it's a Saturday night right now while I'm filming this. So again, you can inhale a mantra. So you could inhale Sat and exhale Nam as we do in Kundalini. So you can build with that. So right now, even while I'm talking, inhaling Sat, Exhaling, um, this will give you a holiday from the regular pattern of thinking. It will neurologically rewire you. And on top of that, Satnam is high frequency mantra. So it will help you to align with your truth, which is of course where the satisfaction in life is. Your truth, your Satnam. So I will explain that in another YouTube because right now that's not the focus. But there is a deep meaning behind that. And you can use any mantra you like. You can inhale peace and serenity. And you can exhale stress if you want to look at the exhale as an emptying out. And you can really be very playful with that. You can inhale colors like a bright pink. And as you exhale, you can feel that you are exhaling out any darkness, any heaviness. And so it will be because your mind is very powerful. And the unseen is more powerful than the seen. And it's really the time that we're moving into this now. A lot of people speak about this like everywhere, literally, which is wonderful. So really know that you have this power. Really use the colors, use the sound. Um, I had my essential oil at one point. Oh, here it is. So I've got the essential oil. Um, I really love using lemon or lavender or frankincense. I've got lemon right now. So mm, it is so, so amazing. 
So my whole both hands smell of lemon. It's incredible. Um, just wanted to show you that is a wonderful oil. It's actually sourced ethically and the people that are harvesting it in third world and second world countries are getting paid appropriately and also they get other benefits they get taken care of really well there's a lot of stories and i'll put a link below if you want to find out about this company that i'm an ambassador for and you can get a wholesale account and you can have ethical essential oils which actually work with the breath so when you start to breathe this in it shifts your mood it, it straight away affects you on a deep deep level there's a science behind that i won't get into now but it is described on my website and in many websites of course and it's an instant effect sometimes you might feel like you want an instant effect so you might breathe in the lemon or you might breathe in peppermint if you're into that or lavender and they change your mood and they also release heavy energies and the same pattern of thinking can't coexist when you have a certain smell on top of that when you feel good what you can do is you can link the experience with that vibration of the essential oil and the next time you go even deeper i highly recommend it an oil like lemon is so cheap really in my opinion uh, a lot of lemons go into this lemon rinds and i believe from memory i'm not really that into numbers so i don't exactly remember i'm pretty sure you can get this oil under or at 20 dollars, and it would last for quite a long time for me for at least half a year depends how much you use it but it's so powerful and it's the plant kingdom helping us and us honoring also that it is um, properly harvested and that people haven't been exploited and that also um that you're not creating more karma it's like trying to get something good here but creating suffering over there i we don't want that anymore as the world is elevating we need to really think about that and so keep breathing right now you roll the shoulders back they need to be relaxed remember there are secondary breathing muscles at your neck and in the shoulders here that are connecting to that aspect of your breath and if they are tight you will never be able to breathe so tight so so well sorry you will be breathing tightly yes so there is a lot of training there and as you do the kundalini movements or whatever movements you into that we do so regularly or you might do in other ways you're going to enhance your breath capacity most people only use 60 percent on average and that's amazing because imagine just using that bit more how much energy you would get how much clarity inside the breath is not just the average stuff that we talk about like oxygen in and co2 out it's actually um, lots of stuff called life force not stuff but elements as well it is it is a very powerful thing to be filled up with which is why it feels so good when we get fresh air when we are at the ocean or in a forest and we breathe in i always make a massive practice to really fill all the lungs not to go at all in the smallest way shallow because really clear out any stagnant energy in your lung tissue in your lungs all over from the bottom of the rib cage to the top really get into the rib cage the sides really open that up and get those benefits they will shift stagnant energy they will enliven you the body can heal itself your blood quality will be improved so i hope you enjoy this remember you can also count this is currently just a basic example of a three-stage breath so inhaling belly chest collarbones hold exhale collarbones chest belly back towards the spine the more you slow it down the more powerful it will be to shift you into an expanded consciousness and deep peace and healing you can actually slow this down by counting so there's one breath that i often teach which is the the square breath inhale for a count of four hold for a count of four exhale for a count of four and then hold for a count of four and if you keep doing that pattern keeping your face soft your lips relaxed your shoulders rolled down palms nice and open or a particular mudra that you enjoy you're going to go even further and then you can increase that of course on five 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 six blah 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 you can really continue and there's a lot of different signatures we can choose from but explore this and let me know how you go i assure you the biology will respond your nervous system your spirituality your health everything benefits from this you can use the breath to help you sleep you can use it to energize you and help you to feel more dynamic minus the coffee you don't need that stuff unless you enjoy it so enjoy and let me know what you think subscribe if you want to have more youtubes like this i have got plans for amazing youtubes and it's just a matter of getting them done satnam thank you have a beautiful now